his own stuff. He's been on uh, EverQuest. Um, I, us I usually see him every night on uh, Second Life. Um, and uh, wherever he does a uh, real life because he can't stay on the internet forever. But, but he has better things to do than to, um, to deal with every situation that comes up that's furry related. I mean, he'll have to, he'll have to, um, to deal with some of the things at some point. But he, he has a lot of other stuff to do than uh, to deal with all this stuff. And here's the other thing. Um, Chung had uh, mentioned um, that he didn't want to be anything uh, in anything like a cult, and he puts his, puts it in a negative connotation. And um, the the thing is, uh, I've mentioned this before in a previous blog. Uh, the word cult has different connotations, it has a positive, neutral, and negative connotation. And Chung Jo Soi uses it as a negative uh, connotation. And, um, alright, I won't explain it in this video because I've already uh, uh, explained in a previous video. Um, let me go back and um, look for it. Um, it was uh, when I was talking about a book that, re that was released, um, uh, talking about the gift side of the fandom. Um, let me see where it's at. I know I got it somewhere. Just give me one second. Um, da -da -da -da. where did it go? I know I have it somewhere. Ah, here it is. Uh, and the blog is called uh, Ferbert's Unleashed. Uh, this is, um, whoops, I don't want to play it. Uh, this was back on April 10th, so if you want to go back into uh, into that, um, it's like in the second half of my video, I explained about uh, the word cult in its uh, positive and negative side. Um, what else did, um, did I need to talk about? Oh, uh, in the last thing I want to talk about in, in his video is that... Um, when he mentioned Sid Silverwing, um, he did mention that he was a high school dropout, and um, he's and he said that since he's a high school dropout, it would mean that he would be ridiculed. That's not necessarily true, um, and I'll 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 show that to you. Um, I don't know um, if you know uh, Peter Jennings, um, who is a, a Canadian American journalist. Now he was a, um, a high school dropout. And um, he, he was one of the, the most popular journalists um, in, in American television. So, um, yeah, and uh, he had died about four years ago. So, Chung, I don't know if you uh, know about this guy, but I suggest you look him up. Because, um, yeah, yeah, obviously you're from another country. I, I don't know if you know anything about uh, American journalists. So, yeah, look up Peter Jennings. Uh, but uh, he's not the only one. Um, there is a uh, playwright and novelist called Han Ong. Um, that's spelled H-A-N-O-N-G. Um, he is a high school dropout as well. But he is one of the youngest recipients of the Mac Mac of the MacArthur Foundation Genius Grant. Now, he was born in the Philippines and then moved into the United States at age 16. Now, his works uh, had included novels like Fixer Chow and Disinherited, which addresses such themes as same-sex love, cultural clash, and class conflict. So, um, look those names up. Just because they're high school dropouts doesn't mean that they're not going to be successful. Um, okay. I think that's all I, I'm going to talk about for today. Because uh, um, the first attorney is not quite at its end yet. Um, 
Yeah, the results are going to be revealed this weekend, and then there's the final round. Yeah, but that's for another day. But uh, the next time uh, you see me, I'll probably be back at my um, apartment because uh, uh, college is starting back up, and uh, I have to get ready to um, get studying again. But believe it or not, I only have like two or three classes uh, a week. Uh, I have um, uh, psychology, and I also have basic anatomy and uh, physiology. Uh, there are Tuesday and Saturday classes, which Saturday Saturday is a little unusual for me. I I've, I've never done a Saturday class, um, but um, I might also get into chemistry. But I will tell you um, before I end off this blog, I should tell you this. Um, I was originally a, in the computer science major, but now um, after some time uh, with this course, I felt that it's not the right thing for me because uh, with computer science you have to type in all this code it takes a long time and then after that you have to um, uh, have the time and patience to debug all that stuff and I don't have the, the patience for that so I have decided to go into nuclear medicine which is like MRI, MRI CT scan all that stuff it's a it's a relatively short course, but since it's in um, the medical field, I have to be uh, accepted into that, and I have to uh, complete all the um, general courses before I get into um, the nuclear uh, medicine courses. Okay, um, but that's uh, yeah. Now that's all I have to talk about. Um, so I'll be back probably Monday or Tuesday, one of those days. All right, Spike Pap logging out.